Hey and what's up? I uh, hope you guys are ready for today's Q&A. It's a long time since I've had a Q&A here on this channel, so it was about time and we have got tons of questions. So thanks to all of you guys for asking me a hundred thousand different questions there is uh, and I'm gonna try to answer a few of them with the help of Mats. By the way, I just arrived to Cape Town today. Going from Norway where the winter is coming now to South Africa to get some tan before the winter is really uh, coming in Norway is, is just great. All right, so let's go go to it. Like I told you, Mats has been uh, finding all the questions for me, so I've been cheating a little bit. The first question is from Will Layout. What advice would you give to a young rallycross driver like myself? It's a very hard one, it's a tricky one. I mean like starting up your career into rallycross, if that's what you, you want, is uh, for sure try to find uh, your local motorsport club, try to do as much driving as possible if it's with go-kart or if it's with a folk race car. Any driving is good driving for rallycross. Rallycross in my opinion is the motorsport answer to MMA. It's a mix of everything. You have a drag race out from the start, you have door-to-door -door racing, you have the spectacular jumps, you have the rallying on gravel and racing uh, on tarmac. Question number two. Michelle Bomolini, why did you start with rallycross? Good luck. The reason why I started with rallycross I think is because of my dad was racing when I was younger together with my uncle and I was following them around in the Norwegian rallycross championships uh, through a lot of different races. I've heard rumors <laughs> that I was three months old when I uh, participated in my first ever Bilkos uh, event watching my dad race so I was pretty young. David Burden won. Andreas, what is your favorite moment in your RX career. I do think that's that must be hell 2016 when we did a clean sweep uh, the first time winning with the Ford Focus RS RX and the first one to do a clean sweep winning all the qualifying heats semi-final and final in ho home soil. I mean like nothing can beat that really. <laughs> Henrik Mjelde, what do you think about electric RX cars? I think it can be very very exciting, uh, I think uh, it's the future for rallycross, I think it's the future for us drivers to be able to make this as a living, I think that can be an opening for the, the whole of world rallycross. Andas on 3304, what is the future of RX electric cars, No, when there are only one factory team? Had the prices gone too far? I know it's a bummer to miss the sound, but I think the, the power which the electric uh, rallycross car can give us will also give a lot more sliding and uh, struggling with putting the power down. Have the prices gone too far? Yes, I do think so. Sereik, where can we order some merch? So this, uh, this question pops up all the time, uh, merch. Back in the days or a couple of years ago I was doing uh, my own merch, I was ordering from China, getting it to Norway, had to pay taxes and then some guys from let's say India wanted a hoodie and I sent down the hoodie in the correct size or in the size that person ordered. A month later I will get it back up and they requested a medium. When I was traveling a lot I didn't really feel that I could uh, manage to get enough orders out. When I'm doing something I want to do it 100%. But I have a question for you guys. If I'm gonna make a merch, what do you want? I love hats. And I've been thinking of making a brand new hat for next year. Maybe a limited edition. Question from Darius Perkins. Will you ever do something with Nitro Circus? Well, I watched the Nitro Circuit uh, games this year and it looked absolutely awesome. So I, I would love to do something in the near future, for sure. And to NS1. First car. My first car. Dayevo Nexia. I bought it for, for nothing and I was driving it when I was 18 when I first got my driving license. By the way, that was a shit car. <laughs> Hotten, Rotten, Scotten, Totten. How are you today? Today I'm actually pretty good. I didn't sleep so much on the plane so I will definitely have an early evening and go to bed early and prepare for a race. Eric GLM. Do you have a role model? My biggest role model was Martin Schanke, Mr. Rallycross back in the days. Uh, later on I got Peter Solberg kind of, but then I started beating him in the Rallycross and I, I figured out I couldn't have him as a role model anymore. <laughs> like I, I watch different sports, I'm a sport geek, I, I love different sports. Uh, I think one of the guys 
Petter Nordtug, a cross country skier from Norway. He, the way he's doing stuff, uh, I think is hilarious. And I think uh, what he have achieved during the years is pretty cool. Lurits Garage. Are there videos planned together with Daniel Apt and Jean Pierre Kramer? No, unfortunately not. Joe Pitt. If you were not a race car driver, what do you think you would be doing today? Very good question. I have no idea. Like, I think I would do some kind of sport, but uh, but I have no idea. Literally, not a clue. Any zero fungus? Ever think about going to auto motorsport like Formula E, DTM, etc.? Well, in the position I am in right now, where uh, Audi has been pulling out from EKS and is not supporting the program anymore, it's the time to look at everything below every stone there is and see what chances I have around the in motorsport. I'm, I want to do this as a living and I feel if there is an opening in a different motorsport and not in rallycross then I'm probably gonna take it and at least I need to look carefully at it and uh, have my thoughts on it. Neil van der Merve, would you ever take part in the Dakar? I don't think so. I have uh, I don't have that kind of experience, but uh, you should never say never. So, uh, but I don't have any contacts or any uh, huge interest in Dakar right now. Maurice Berglan, what was your job before Rallycross? Before Rallycross, I was doing a little bit of everything, but the biggest job I had was snow plowing the roads in the winter. That was uh, a job I missed because I. I was driving alone during the night, snow plowing the roads in Norway and uh, it made my head spinning. I had so many ideas, I was so creative. I, I had a microphone which I talked into every night like 4 a.m. Uh, speaking about ideas for the future, how to get in the money, to go racing and, and so on. Jordan Davis, 88. Which car do you prefer, the Focus RS RX of Hoonigan or the Audi A1 from EKS S1? Hard question. I think the Ford Focus RS RX was a lot of fun to drive. Definitely a big difference going to the Audi, which is a much smaller car. I will say the fastest car on the Rallycross track is an Audi. Ventu 15. What is the best to experience in a Rallycross car? Acceleration, braking or jumps? Definitely acceleration. We do 0 to 100 in around 2 seconds. It's just awesome, especially when you're on the grid together with five other lunatics. It's uh, pretty awesome when you feel the, the heart rhythm and everything is beating and you're nervous. Peter Ivasecevic. Can I call you Baki? Yes, you can. 89GX. What's your favorite style of music? To be very honest, I'm not a big uh, music uh, geek, if you call it that. Uh, I listen to everything, basically. Victor Marian. What is your favorite snack? Hashtag snack rude. Well, uh, I think my favorite food is definitely taco. Favorite snack? It depends, there's so many snacks. Like, uh, what is the snack? Is that just like a little tapas piece, piece or? Good question, but I'd, I'll go for taco. Dahem on. Would you rather fight a one horse sized duck or 100 duck sized horses? I'll definitely fight 100 duck sized horses. I've got a few questions. Are you not gonna race with EKS Audi Sport next year? Uh, are you gonna drive for Audi? Are you gonna do this and that? I can tell you so much that it's uh, something we're working on to figure out a, a path to go on. Hopefully we can have something ready before New Year, but uh, I think it will take a long time. Right now it's not looking too bright. Audi is pulling out from EKS and uh, we are out uh, of uh, a type of a title sponsor and partner to the team. I don't have a contract for next year yet. We are working on it and I hope I can bring you guys with me. But right now we are in Cape Town, it's the last event of the FIA World Rallycross Championship. I can't wait to get this battle going, we are currently third overall, Matthias Ekström is second, only four points in front of us and uh, I'm gonna give him a run for his money. I hope you guys are watching because it's gonna be, be epic, uh, I will go all in. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little Q&A, do you want me to do this more often? Maybe we can do this as bonus episodes and st stuff like that. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's Q&A. It's been a long time. Uh, nice catching up with you guys, by the way. What do you think of my mustache? Comment below. Until next time, flat out.